the stronghold. Good morning everyone and welcome back to another video. This morning we are starting the kitchen assembly. We've brought it up from downstairs and I'm gonna start with one unit and I think there's three in total. So let's crack on. It's like a big Amazon package, look. Oh, I was enjoying that as well. There we go. This is like the worst unboxing on YouTube currently. dark units so these are the instructions look pretty simple what is required a drill a clamp oh my god this is really complicated no it should be okay everything should be fine doesn't need any glue apparently oh here we go aha i've got a pair now so at least i know where the sides are right i'm going to crack on with this and in the meantime you're going to go and see what rick's up to Good morning, Rick. Good morning. <laughs> You've done a fabulous job cutting the grass. Thank you very much. How are you today? Very well. Uh, had a lovely weekend. Spent Halloween at a fantastic place. <laughs> 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 no, it's, uh, it's been good. We're getting back to normal now, doing a little bit of gardening, tidying things up. Yeah, back to work at the convent. Back to work. How do you feel? Energised, mate. Energised. That's always good to hear. <laughs> right, let's get on with it. Okay, no problem. Let's crack on. <laughs> the instructions said I need 12 tools, but so far I've managed with one. So it's going quite well. I read the instructions once, and now I don't need them. It's quite simple, I've done two already. This is the third unit, and I think there's gonna be one smaller unit, quite a thin one. Um, yeah, so once these are assembled and sort of put in order from the plans, but they're actually back at the chateau, they're not here, so that's not a good thing. <laughs> I'm going to, um, I've just got to finish a little bit of plastering in the kitchen itself, and then we're going to start putting them in. So yeah, it shouldn't take too long to finish this job. The assembly of these units are incredibly easy because they've made the tops and the bottom identical. You can put it either way. So I could start on that side and that would be the bottom or I could start this side and it would be the bottom. It makes absolutely no difference to the outcome of the unit. So it's actually really well designed. I was thinking that, ooh, maybe the holes will be different, but they're not. Absolutely amazing. What's this unit going to be, Billy, that you're working on? So all three of these units are identical. They can be transformed into units that incorporate a sink or drawers or anything, really. Um, you just have the additional accessories to, to attach, say, like the drawers, for instance, and it can become a drawer unit or with just cupboards underneath or it can have a sink with no drawer. You know, it's uh, quite flexible. Modular. Modular, yeah.
Doing a fantastic job there, Rick. Thank you very much, mate. It's looking much better. A lot tidier, yeah. I think it's been about eight, nine weeks since we did the rose, rose garden, and they're so beautiful. Uh, you just got to do it, haven't you? Because it doesn't have made the courtyard look very nice. It does indeed. So yeah, got quite a way to go yet. But uh, a couple of hours, and it should all be done. I think it's lunchtime, Rick. Excellent. I've always got time for a baguette. <laughs> Good man. <laughs> This is the first look at the door panels. What do you think? So black again. Wow. A little bit shiny. More of a satin finish. So yeah, it will match the, uh, the other colors <laughs> in this office. Right, so I'm gonna put the hinges on quickly and then we're gonna fit it to this unit. And then we're gonna go downstairs and bring up the worktop and just lay it on top for now. So. Yeah, it's almost going to be a kitchen reveal, but it's not actually fitted yet. It's just sort of freestanding in the room, but yeah, we'll get there. And then as you tighten up these two screws, it should. Wow, it doesn't turn very far, does it? Lock. There we go. It's fitted. Okay. And they're sort of soft clothes, look. Moment of truth. Let's see if the door fits. Spoiler alert, it will. Uh, okay. As long as I do it properly. And that pushes into there, that clicks into there. Nope, that one's not on properly. Oh no, it's all gone wrong. Okay, obviously it needs adjusting still. But yeah. Soft close. It's actually not that bad at all, as it is, can be tightened up. Um, I wasn't gonna put the doors all on now. I'm gonna wait until the kitchen's actually fitted. But I'll just put this one on for now, so you get an idea of what the kitchen looks like. Shall we put the handle on? Yes. 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 Okay. So we've gone for an even bolder color for this handle. to match all the other colors. <laughs> uh, oh, this isn't good, is it? There's no holes for the handles. Eh? Eh. Uh, I, don't, I don't know where the handle's actually meant to go on this. Not like that, it can't be like that. And like that doesn't fit. Like that? Yes. Okay, I'll do the handles last. I can't fit it because I need a drill to actually drill a hole. And if I mess it up and put it in the wrong place, well, I'm gonna have to order another door and I don't want to do that. Handles another day. Okay, what are we gonna do now? Bring the worktop up possibly. Okay, Ryan is nodding with his approval. So let's go and do that. Okay. Welcome to the worst cooking channel on YouTube. Today, we're gonna to make a right mess. Um, what do you think? Does it look good, Ryan? Yes. I put an extra couple of doors on. We put the worktop on, just temporarily, to see how it looks. I think it looks fantastic because the worktop matches the floor, sort of. 
So yeah, this sort of works quite well. It sort of blends in together. So um, I need to do a little bit of plastering now and then maybe tomorrow we can start fitting the kitchen in the room itself. So it's going to be exciting stuff coming up. We've nearly made it to the end. Three quarters done. Looking fantastic, I must say, Rick. I am uh, pleasantly surprised. I didn't know you were so green-fingered. Well, you've just got to pull the weeds out, really. There's nothing technical to it, but it makes the courtyard look a bit more grander, doesn't it? A bit more beautiful, so yeah. it's, uh, it's a worthwhile task. I can see you're a man who takes pride in his work, Rick. Absolutely. You, pride in the work, the work, where you work, and the people you work for. So, yeah, it's good. Nearly right. finished, just got the last little patch to do. And then uh, on with the next task. Just clean my little nozzle. Right, so I'm gonna mix up some plaster quickly, just to finish off that wall in the kitchen. I should have finished it about a month ago, but we've had a lot of other jobs to do. So just squirt some water in the bucket. You can see how powerful my little nozzle is, look. Can't turn it off. Right. Right, more juice. Mm. There we go, look at that. Like brand new. Welcome to the world's worst plastering tutorial on YouTube. It's like the blind leading the blind here. So essentially, I've got to try and cover this area with a smoother plaster than what I've originally used and then give it a bit of a sand. I'm absolutely not a professional at this. So let's just crack on with it. I should be using a hawk, which is a platform. And then, you know, but it doesn't really matter at the moment. A lovely consistency. It actually looks better. I haven't smoothed it off yet, but it does look better. So the trick is not to drop any. Oh, oh no. What have I done? I wasn't going to do the drawers today, but I got a little bit too excited and I've started doing it. Ah! Oh, it's got lovely little cloths, soft closing mechanism, look. Oh. I hope these are in the right place. I hope that's the wrong screw. Oh. Sound of quality. Oh wow, look at that. That is fabulous. So if we put the tray in, I'm so surprised by the quality of this kitchen. It wasn't particularly expensive either, I think about 1,300 euros. I'm one of those people who are very easily pleased. So that is great. <sighs> Happy days. Best day of my life. <laughs> Gardening and now cleaning. Is there anything this man cannot do? Not so far. <laughs> no, it's, um, it's a long time coming mopping up in here because uh, it gets a bit dusty. So we bought ourselves a brand new mop, a brand new mop bucket. And uh, it's the Ferrari of mops and trying it out. <laughs> Taking it for a test run. That's it, it's, it today's it's test run. And it's doing very well. 
Thank you so much for watching today's video. We've been incredibly busy today. The kitchen is almost fully assembled. Rick's been really busy. Thank you so much to Rick and thank you to Ryan for filming and editing this vlog. Um, tomorrow, I think we're gonna start fitting the kitchen. So that's gonna be really exciting. So thanks for watching and I'll see you all tomorrow.